5600 is our dual socket system in a, a compact chassis. In fact, the chassis on the T5600 is the same size as, as on the T3600, the single socket system. What we've managed to design there is to have a system that will take a second processor, and since the memory is associated with the processors in this architecture, literally directly attached to the processors, when you add a second CPU on the T5600, you're adding additional memory capability. So that box can scale up from 64 gig with a single CPU up to 128 gigabytes. So for customers who need the, the power of a dual socket workstation because they have either multiple applications running concurrently, which means they need lots of CPU resources, or if they're doing uh, heavier analysis or, or batch kind of rendering jobs, uh, having more CPU cores is a great way to get better performance. And this is all about, from the, from, the, from the architecture point of view, it's all about making customers more efficient by getting more work done faster. Uh, one feature that I haven't spoke of, and this is applicable to all three of the chassis, including the T5600, is uh, Dell's reliable memory technology. And this is a feature that uh, increases the reliability and the uptime of systems. Uh, Dell's reliable memory technology builds upon that capability by actually identifying uh, the bad spot on the memory that was corrected and storing that information. And when the system reboots, reliable memory technology will map that part of the DIMM um, out of the way so that the, the operating system, nor, neither the operating system or the application will try to write to that spot again. So that's really great because memory errors happen more often than people think and this is a way of, of, of detecting them and correcting them immediately and after seven occasions the uh, system will provide the user with a notification that they should probably have the IT folks have a look at that specific DIM. And that's a real benefit because it avoids the, the chance of a failure, a blue screen failure, which could mean data loss. The second thing is that if you had a failure and you believed it was memory, uh, the, the only way that an IT person could really figure out what the problem was is to run a memory diagnostic test. It could take hours and hours and hours to run those tests. So by having the ability to detect these errors and map around them, you, you don't need to go through all that pain. So it's a huge win for a customer.